Way to go, dude! You like totally ruined everything! Sorry, man. Yeah, you made us deal with these masters! And they! They're such! You should have known that they would go back on their way! Why would you trust them? I'm, I'm sorry, okay? You really don't know anything! Except your rich, Lannister Goldfield life! And I, I'm back! <gasps> oh, look! Daenerys is back! Guys! I can't believe you! I step out of the kingdom for several weeks and I come back and this place is a mess! Now, who is responsible for all this carnage? Tyrion did it! Tyrion did it! Tyrion did it! Oh, crap! Hello, you tubbers, and welcome to the show. Well, you know the drill, and I hate all of you. Anyway, Jaquel and the rest of the panel went to see Warcraft in theaters, so she'll give you her review this weekend. Anyway, I have Laurie, David, and Joe here to help me host the show, so uh, here they are. So, why didn't you guys go watch Warcraft with Jaquel? Because it's not my cup of tea. I don't watch fantasy movies. <laughs> I never played the game, World of Warcraft. Well, that's too bad. Because we're watching it. <laughs> In fact, we're watching this, this workout. <laughs> I wish Jaquel was here. Oh. Oh, too bad she's not here to do the show. <laughs> uh, do you want to go to Rabbit Fire? Sure. Uh, Susie, do you really have to be here? Yes. I'm taking over the show. Uh, fine. Oh, okay. So, we leave Sandor off chasing after those guys those guys part, who were part of the Brotherhood Without Banners that went rogue and killed everybody he hung out with. Oh yeah! I like that part! Because they all died! Yep, he swung his axe at him and chopped him to pieces. I especially pity that guy that he chopped in his manly parts. <laughs> well, Susie, you just love violence, don't you? Yes! I like seeing people die. And in fact, I'm just glad they cut out that Lady Stoneheart character. Because, ugh, I never even liked that part of the books. I know, what's the point? It cheapens the Jon Snow coming back to life conundrum. I know. But somebody's gonna be playing the part of Lady Stoneheart. I just don't know who yet. I know. Ah, uh, Stoneheart character. <laughs> well, because Beric Dondarrion is still around. Well, somebody's gonna have to play some Lady Stoneheart because there won't be a Lady Stoneheart. <laughs> You're taking off her by sight. Ah, <sighs> fine. We'll get to you now, Joe. Okay, we move on to King's Landing, where. To everybody's astonishment, Tommen pulls a plug on Clint Gainball. Oh, Oh, that is so not fair! I played tickets for that event! I was looking forward to watching Sandor Clegane take down Gregor Clegane! This guy is messing up my plan! Do I get a refund? He says no refunds as all money... All proceeds from the sale go straight to the Faith Militant. Ah! Stop it, Tommen! I want my Clegg Abel! Yeah, Clegg Abel. Get de hype. But Cersei, however, has a secret plan to get rid of her enemies once and for all. Oh, and didn't she forget she started all this crap in the first place? Yeah, she did. And she brought up herself. 
Now that all trials by combat are canceled permanently, let's see how long she'll last in a trial by jury. <laughs> I bet she's gonna lose. Yep, and possibly blow up King's Landing. <sighs> well, if the Sand Snakes show up in the tenth episode, please let them kill her. Just, just, just. Yeah, I want to see how her face looks with Obara's spear hanging out of it. Nah. I'd rather Obara take on Tom and knock him down. Yeah, and then he gets spearheaded by Obara, that'll make Cersei go completely crazy. <laughs> That's right, Tommen. Your days have a number. I'm paying Obara saying five million dollars to take you out. <laughs> We next move on to Tyrion in Marine as he says goodbye to Varys. I bet Varys is probably going to spend the next episode trying to drum up support for Daenerys and Dorne. Yeah. Come on. Let's see some pretty snakes. I want to see some snakes. Particularly one named Obara Sand and her wonderful spear that shook go and poke people's faces out. Ew, you are too obsessed with that spear, aren't you? Yes. And plus, in a shocking plot twist, that is too good for television, the Masters decided to come back and... Well, let's just say they reneged on their deal. I know it. I know they were reneged on their deal. They're all jerks. <laughs> and then Daenerys shows up saying, All right, who does this? And everybody knows who to play. Tyrion Lannister. He drinks and no says, Wait, no, he don't know nothing about no slavery. Tyrion... You should have paid attention during American history class, particularly the Civil War period. Ugh. Sometimes I just don't understand that guy. Don't worry, the Tyrion versus Gimli competition will solve that problem. I have so. And then we go back to Jamie Lannister, who's in the Riverlands. I mean, man, Jamie is just a loser. I know. In the last season, he got his butt handed to him by a bunch of snake girls. Yep. Oh, I really wanted to see Obara beat the crap out of him. Or I marry him with the crap out of him. Or Tyeen flash him to death. <laughs> but then Braun makes his appearance. I mean... He's the kind of guy who you can part with anybody and, and it makes it funny. Like Bron and Tyrion and and Bron and Jamie and Bron and Tyne. Now it's Bron and Pod. I mean this guy is the all around awesome guy. And if anything happens to him, I will find out who directed this episode that he died in and claw them to death. Yeah. Or you probably make Obara kill him with her spear. Yeah, in that town. Uh, plus, he took a page from the book and threatened Edmure. Oh, you know what? I hope we get Edmure Stoneheart. Yep, Edmure Stoneheart, people. Get hype. Oh, and the Blackface ain't dead because we ain't seen nobody. But who cares? Wait till the next episode. Yep, let's wait. And now we close up our fire with Arya Terminator. Yeah, I love the Terminator. That was a good movie. Yep. Arya plays way too much Assassin's Creed because she's jumping off buildings. Yeah, why would you do that after you've been brutally injured? Yep, and the only person she turns to for help gets freaking shanked. So it's Arya versus way. That's right, Pabo. Get hype. Well, so she leads Wave all over the city, which I think was pretty cool. And guess what? Wave finally dies. But 
we couldn't hear anything over the sound of her screaming. Yeah, if you were real quiet during that one scene where Arya turns off the lights, you could slowly hear the wife screaming. <laughs> well, who cares? Wife is dead, and Arya's going home. Or is she? Yeah, who cares? I feel like that part of the story is kind of lame. Eh, well, who cares? Well, this show is over because I said so. Anyway, Jaquel will return and this Saturday and review the show as well as give out her predictions for episode 9. So, she'll see you next week. Meow! Yeah.